I filmed this video to show you the machining process to fit the HX35 thrust collar into the H1C bearing housing. The purpose of this is to have a greater surface area on the thrust bearing of the thrust collar. That way it has more durability. The thrust bearing we use is also an HX35 style that's machined to fit an H1C. So the purpose of that is to have a much more durable thrust bearing in an H1C turbo. Because the H1C and H1E used a very weak thrust bearing. So if you plan on running higher boost or doing a bigger compressor wheel, it's necessary to upgrade these parts. This is an H1C plate and this is an H1C collar. You can see how the collar stip sticks out like it's supposed to. Now, if we want to upgrade this to an HX40 series, then we're going to need an HX40 collar to bring the compressor wheel back into the pocket. So we're going to put an HX collar in here. You can see on when the HX collar is inserted, there's not enough of the collar extruded from the plate for it to be able to touch the compressor wheel. So we're going to machine that part back to allow us to use the HX40 collar and compressor wheel to upgrade the H1C. This is after machining for the collar. Now I need to machine for the compressor wheel. This, there's two different plates, the H1C and then there's the H1E. The H1E is a little bit more than 83 millimeter here for the compressor wheel. That's like an 82 or 83. Then the H1C, uh, I can't remember the size. I think it's probably about 78 right there. I can't remember. Some of them are 82, depending on which H1C you have. And anyway, so I'm gonna machine this out to fit the HX40 86 millimeter. Here's a 60 by 86 compressor wheel. The bore is 87.2 millimeter, so it gives us 1.2 millimeter, or it's 1.2 millimeters larger than the wheel, which gives us about 0.75, uh, 0.6 millimeter on each side.